Uh, Andrew, thank you so much for uh, for your presentation here. You're welcome. Um, can you share a little bit uh, what your key points uh, were during the presentation? Sure. I mean, I think the key thing for us at Tourism New Zealand is that uh, today there are so many choices within the social media landscape, um, and, the, and the audiences in these channels are highly engaged. So for us, it's all about focus, and, and focus in three areas. First of all, in terms of what's our key message, so what makes our destination offer unique globally, um, or your offer unique globally. And for us at Choose New Zealand, that's about the idea of everything close, which is about the landscapes and the experience of the people they have at our destination. Secondly, it's about um, what you're trying to communicate. So why are you actually communicating in the first place? What are you wanting to do or happen through that communication? Um, and so for us, it's about overcoming barriers. So we know from our research uh, that actually, as you do your job of inspiring people to visit your destination, barriers start to emerge. And so therefore, it's about sequential marketing and overcoming those barriers. And lastly, and actually where you start first is who you're targeting. Um, so being really clear about who you're targeting and these channels provide us with really rich audiences in terms of the information we know about them right through to about where they're located and actually did they actually convert, so did they actually visit a, um, your destination. And so that's really about data driven audiences, so using lookalikes or based on their feeds to really get highly targeted with your audience. So it's about focus across um, all your activity, your paid, owned and earned. So once you've identified, can you give an example of a barrier and what you're doing to sort of remove it? Yeah, so uh, what we found is that as we're inspiring people to experiences they want to have and showing experiences that are unique and compelling, is that some more practical stuff cut starts to come up and expresses like how easy is it actually to get around and what other things can I do in that area. And so the challenges show that it's still an inspiring way but still overcoming those barriers. And so by filming and creating content or sharing content users are already generating, which starts to show that is an easy way to do that. So actually people driving around, calling on different things is an easy way to do that, um, as I say, to start to engage them further in the destination. I really like that you're focusing on the active considerers. Um, so why have you sort of moved away from sort of the awareness or broad considerers and, and really focused on that and how do you make sure that the awareness still happens? Because we're a relatively um, premium destination and we're driven by value. So ultimately we're not, never going to be a volume destination, it's about value. It's about targeting those consumers which are going to stay longer and spend more. And so that forces us to be highly targeted, those active considerers. Um, and so that's why we're focused on them. And digital media enables us to sit there and say, well, actually start to look at those behaviours, start to look at what they're interacting with to help identify them and target them. So that's the, the why we're focused mm -hmm. on them. So how do you make sure that the awareness still happens? Oh, the awareness? Well, that's where PR becomes quite important. So we're kind of really becoming more and more clear on the different roles of our activity. So all of us are working across those three things we're focusing on communicating. But the PR, what that can help do, well, we, we could say that we call filling the funnel. So if we don't start our work until someone's actively considering, mm -hmm. the PR team are working to kind of create that desire. And so partnership programs like uh, episodes of um, the Bachelor, or we had the final for uh, out of China for Daddy, where are you going? Those kind of reality shows create great ways to showcase your destination, to keep it hot and topical at a broad awareness level, um, and they're really cost effective. Um, and therefore, when our paid media comes underneath, it's highly targeted that those are engaging in that show. But more than that, they're really starting to look at the destination. What's coming? What's next? What are, you, what are you working on? What's the next barrier you want to remove? <laughs> well, I think we're still learning this journey. I think one of the, thing, the opportunities is, is this whole idea of sequential marketing and how do we do that and move people through the funnel to booking ultimately. Mm -hmm. So obviously we don't close a sale, but a lot of partners do. So it's work, we're working really hard with partnerships to really define our roles most efficiently and then and how we can become uh, better at actually getting that conversion. Uh, using our media partners to know ultimately did they visit through to Elon lines to say, well actually, how many packs, how many um, people did you sell through to? So I think it's about sitting and looking at all stages of your communication and work to see how you can actually get a better result. It's a privilege having you here at, uh, at Somi Tia, the conference. It's, it's day one, it's early, 
But uh, you know, what do you think so far? Oh, it's fantastic. I think it's a great conversation. There's great conversations going on. I think everyone's grappling with similar kind of issues, um, I think, going on. I mean, it's an exciting space. It's changing so rapidly, I think, is what we'd all say. Um, and that we're all learning through doing, which I think is our philosophy too. Learning through doing, trying some stuff, seeing what it is. And I think it's a great conference to share those experiences, share those learnings from other people. And I think it's a great environment to capture those to accelerate people's journey. Been here a number of times before, so very familiar with this part of the country. It's a, uh, about 40% of our outbound from New Zealanders come to Australia. So uh, as Kiwis, we're very familiar with this part of the world. So it's, it's nice to be back, shall I say. <laughs>